Hello, in previous video, we started to examine the goods and services market. More precisely, the Keynesian consumption function and the planned investment function. In this video, you will learn what's the government role in the goods and services market and how the equilibrium is reached in this market. A fiscal policy is the government spending and taxing policies. A discretionary fiscal policy means that the government makes changes to tax rates and levels of government spending. Now, there are two types of fiscal policies. An expansionary fiscal policy is cutting taxes and or increasing government spending. Whereas a contractionary fiscal policy is when the government either cuts spending or raises taxes. You see the term net taxes, T, and it's the taxes paid by firms and household to the government minus transfer payments made to household by the government. We say we're having a budget deficit when the government spending is greater than taxes. It means the government is spending more than what it's earning. And we have a budget surplus in case taxes are greater than government spending. We know also that why the output income, we can do two things with it, or to consume it or to save it. This is why the output income Y, it's equal to C plus S. Now adding net taxes and government purchases will lead to the disposable or after income tax, YD, which is equal to Y minus T. So now with the government, we will have YD, and with this YD or the disposable income, we can consume it or save it. The determination of equilibrium output income. We say we're having equilibrium when there is no tendency for change. In the macroeconomic goods market, equilibrium occurs when planned aggregate expenditure is equal to aggregate output. Now, planned aggregate expenditure, AE, is the total amount the economy plans to spend in a given period. It's equal to consumption plus planned investment plus government spending. And this is why AE equals C plus I plus G. We know also that YD it's equal C plus S and that YD it's Y minus T. This is why the output income Y can be written as C plus S plus T. By definition, equilibrium occurs when AE equal Y. It means C plus I plus G equals C plus S plus T. By subtracting C from both sides, we will arrive to the equation where I plus G equals S plus T. And here we're having the equilibrium. I plus G, they represents the injections in this economy, where S plus T, they represent the leakage from this economy. We can have uh, places or points where we don't have equilibrium, such as Y greater than AE or AE greater than Y. And we will see later how these points, they are not stable and there is always a tendency to change. This is why they are not points of equilibrium. We know also that the consumption function before the government role in the economy was C equal A plus BY with C consumption and B it's the MPC or the marginal propensity to consume and Y it's the output income. Now, when the government steps in in the economy, C, it's equal to A plus B, Y, D. So we can write the consumption function as C equal A 
plus B times Y minus T, which is the disposable income, or YD. In order to better understand how the equilibrium occurs in the economy, we're having the table with a numerical example. And here we're having an assumption. And to make it simpler, we're having net taxes, the planned investment, and the government purchases. They are all independent of output income. And this is to simplify and in order to make some assumptions to make it easier for us to understand. So if we consider the first row, where the output income Y, it's equal to 300. Net taxes, it's 100 and it's always constant. So YD in this case, it's 300 minus 100, it's 200. And if we want to calculate the consumption, just we replace YD in the equation of the consumption function. So it's 100 plus 0 0.75, times 200. So it's 100 plus 150, it's 250. And we know that saving equal YD minus C. And YD here, it's 200. And the consumption, it's 250. So 200 minus 250, it's minus 50. It means we are consuming more than what we are earning. And this is why we are using our savings or previous savings. And this is why the saving is minus 50. Now, the planned aggregate expenditure, or AE, as we said, it's C plus I plus G. So C it's 250, and I 100, and G 100. So the total is 450. Finally, we reach the unplanned inventory change, which is Y minus AE. Y in this case, 300 and AE, it's 450. So 300 minus 450, it's minus 150. It means in this economy, we are consuming more than what we are producing. This is why we're having the unplanned inventory minus 150. It means we are seeing the firms, they are seeing that their inventory are decreasing. This is why, as a reaction, they will increase the output. This is why, in this case, we are not at equilibrium, because there is a tendency to change. If we consider a second row, where the output income is 1,300, the unplanned inventory change is plus 100. It means in this, in this economy, we are producing more than what we are uh, consuming. This is why the inventories, they will start to increase. As a reaction, the firms, they will decrease their output. And in this case, we are not at equilibrium because also we're having a tendency to change. However, at the level of 900, where the output income equal 900, we see that the AE equal Y and unplanned inventory change it's zero so here the firms they won't nor increase nor decrease their output and this is why we say we're at equilibrium now in order to see it graphically we have first the blue line which represents the consumption function and we also have the 45 degree line drawn from the origin and represents the set of points where aggregate expenditure in the economy is equal to output or national income. Because G and I, the government spending and the planned investment are both fixed at 100, the aggregate expenditure function is the consumption function displaced upward by I plus G equal 200. So when you see this purple line, it's above the 45 degree line. It means AE is greater than Y. It means in this economy, we are consuming more than what we are producing. This is why the output will increase. So we are not at equilibrium. We might have another point where the purple line is below the 45 degree line. And in this case, Y 
it's greater than AE. It means the output, it's greater than the expenditure or the consumption. So in this case, the inventories will start to increase. And as reaction, the firms, they will decrease the output. So we are not also at equilibrium. So the equilibrium in this case will occur at a level Y equal 900. And as you can see, it's the intersection between the purple line and the 45 degree line. And this is where Y equal AE or Y equal C plus I plus G. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're having any question, please leave it in the comments below and stay tuned for future videos.